and welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. It's the end of term. <sighs> I'm so tired, but I'm getting ready to run with Rachel. But I'm going to spin you round and show you what my kitchen looks like and describe what I'm actually doing at the moment. So whiz round to here. So start with, we've got running lights charging here. I've made a list of all the gifts I've been given from school. Um, chocolate and things in here. Oh dear, there's so much chocolate and there's chocolate in the cupboard as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with it all. I've got gift wraps to here to, to put away. I've been given a reusable um, bottle wrap, so I'm going to um, possibly take that one apart. But what was really nice was that one of the gifts from from the parents um it's quite common in in the uk that you give your teacher a gift or the, and the teaching a little gift at christmas i can remember doing it myself um some of the parents had clubbed together and bought us a voucher i mean that is just fantastic um and better still it was for the supermarket <laughs> that's so useful so the dog collars are charged up the sewing machine's ready to do bun flag number 18 when I get back from Rachel's. Um, what else have I got? Oh yes, it's busy, busy, busy here now because it's full full going to Christmas. There's some pans behind there on the hob. I When I get home from work on a Friday when I'm running with Rachel, because I eat my lunch so early, I actually have some porridge because it fills me up, gives me energy to run. But I've dug out my wreath from last year and this is a year old. Now... I could change this pine greenery out, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to make certain that all the pine cones and the orange things are in properly. And I got this from the Chatsworth farm shop last year. Chatsworth is a huge um, country house in Derbyshire, and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I just I saw the wreath and I fell in love with it. So I'm going to put that on my door. Um, I wonder where I could suspend it. That's what, it, that's what it looks like and it's really different because usually these door wreaths, this greenery goes all the way around but what I liked about this one was the simplicity of just a huge piece of ribbon saying Chatsworth on it and then just the lovely wicker ring here. So now I am going to dash over to Rachel's and do our run and it's going to be a wet one. So before I head off to Rachel's I'm going to do the advent calendar. I'm getting quite good at doing this one-handed. Oh, I've had this one before. Arondio. Yes, this is like, it's one of my favorites is the Arondio. I've, I've bought this one before. I know we're getting closer and closer to Christmas and there's door number 24 and I don't know what's, it's quite a big door. Looking at the edge of it, it's quite a big door. So what I'm going to do is 19 is just there, so there's tomorrow's. I'm wondering if that's another Christmas. Hello there. So I'm back from a lovely run with Rachel. It was, um, the weather around here tonight has not been brilliant. And we were very fortunate because it should have been absolutely throwing it down. But we, we missed that. And we actually got a very sort of like misty rain. So it was sort of, it, it sat on you and started to soak in. But having said that, because it's actually so mild at the moment, I think the temperature was about 12 degrees, it actually was very refreshing to have this misty rain around you. So I've come back, I've had some dinner, it's now uh, about 9 o'clock at night and I've still not done today's flag, but I'm about to go and do it. And the reason I am sitting down is I have got a very sore foot. And I've currently got, oh excuse me, I've got my foot elevated and this is entitled the last day of term it probably should be entitled the sleepy one because that's just how I feel so I'm going to show you what's happened you can see all the swelling has come back up on the side of my ankle it's come oops Daisy it swells all the way around and all the way up the top here anyhow we've arranged to run again in a few days time she's going to be off work and I'm off work um, and we're hoping that we can actually go and grab a coffee for okay weather so that we can sit outside and have a coffee. Failing that, our second option is to run to our local shopping centre and then 
have a coffee in one of the outside vans there and then get the bus back to my village which we can do but we'll have to sit separately on the bus two meters apart but we can manage that because we'll only be on the bus for 10 minutes <laughs> but the things we're doing just to enjoy each other's company um it, it is so important it's quite funny having you sort of half an hour of weekly sewing chat running around <laughs> with a friend in the rain in the dark running in puddles but guess what it makes you feel super relaxed anyhow less of this waffling let's get my coffee made and let's get sewing <laughs> Before I carry on making today's flag, um, I want to point out to you that I have loads of, there they come, little bits of thread. Can you see that one there? And there's one there next to the tweezers, and another one there next to the tweezers, and another one there. And they are coming out from the inside of my machine. Now, I have said before, these machines are really finely tuned pieces of kit. but. I'm actually finding each time I go in, let me just try and point out with this. Oh look, there's more here. These are all little threads that have come out of the machine. But I'm finding them tucked away right in the sides there. This is the thread cutter in my machine, so they're always in there. There's a tiniest little bit of one here. They just, it's the little bits get in. And they will affect the ability of your machine to switch from one function to the next if you don't clean your, sorry, you, funny shop there, if you don't clean your machine out thoroughly. And I'm pretty convinced I now have a clean machine. So I'm going to thread it up again and finish sewing this flag. Vlogmas day 18 and I actually rather like today's flag. Um, I did interrupt the filming of it to say it, it's the link threads that you get from here to here. Now I normally cut them off from the top but I've discovered that you can, have, there is a function on my sewing machine where I can actually get them to chop them off automatically. And it's proving quite interesting because all the little bits of thread that get cut off go to one place and that is underneath the spool and it's interfering with the performance of the sewing machine. It's also creating a lot of bits of thread underneath the work, which I'm not so happy about. So tomorrow I'm actually going to have an experiment. I'm going to do a similar design for tomorrow's tree and I'm going to try and use the bridging threads without cutting them off automatically with the machine. I'm going to do it manually just to see what the underside of the design is like. Yesterday's design, it had so much thread underneath it. It, it was wasteful, um, for want of a better description. I don't think it's anything to do 
with the machine itself. I mean, the te they are just develop the technology is developing all the time. So what the machine does now, which seems a bit clunky, in five or six years' time, it's going to be a dream. And all the machine manufacturers work at different paces. They all do different things at different times. I, I can I know that the hands-free knee lift system was one of the first things that Benina brought out, but. I do know that Janome at one point had the most amazing light that pulled out over the front of the sewing machine. It was like a slide in and out light and I was like, ooh, that's rather good. I could do with one of those because I like light when I'm working. Anyhow, today has been the sleepy one. I've tried the time lapse. Let me know what you think compared for time lapse or me speeding up the, 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 the film, which is where I just let it run ordinarily and then there's a function on the editing software. I just use the one with the, with the computer and it just says speed. I click fast and then 20 times faster and it, it really sort of makes it whiz through, which is great. I'm not so certain about the time lapse because it literally is taking a photograph every one second. All I can see on the little screen is flash, 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 flash. Um, so I'm going to leave it in. I will label it as time lapse and let's see what we think. It, it would be quite interesting. But as I said earlier, I am still learning. And for me, it's like, hey, I worked it out. I, I couldn't work out how to do it. So I went on YouTube, I went on the internet, I Googled how to time lapse on my camera, and I followed a YouTube video, and it worked. Anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed what I've done today. Um, it's the end of term, and while this is uploading, I shall tidy my kitchen up, which I'm looking at is an absolute mess. I've had a lovely day. I always try to get the best out of every day and try and dwell on the positive rather than the things that have gone wrong. I mean, there have been things that have gone wrong today. I mean, I wore the, my foot really hurts and I've had to cancel my run tomorrow with another friend. Um, and we can't even, you know, we can't meet for coffee. We can't do anything. And just meeting her for a, a walk and a chat was good for us both. I'll see you all tomorrow. And hopefully I can get some cutting out done. Maybe make another Gabby sweatshirt. So see you tomorrow. Take care.